Hey, hey, hey. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. Now go and get the clap. Now pop it for a player. Pop, pop it for me. What? Turn around and drop it for a player. Drop, drop it for me. And what? I don't know why she in the intro. What's up? This DC Kool Aid <laughs> and Lisa. <laughs> she about a good reaction video. Yes, I'm about to. I don't know what I'm reacting to. It's food, some kind of food. She gonna react. Not looking at the screen. You looking in the screen? I'm always looking in the screen. They know I look in the screen. You know how it is. She gonna do a reaction video to smother chicken. So yes. Let's see what she said about this chicken. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. Don't forget to hit that like button. Go ahead and hit that like button right now for him. So y'all gonna go with me into this food journey. All right, we have journey into food. Hi everybody, and welcome back to VIPB Beauty News and Fashion. Today, uh, I'm coming to you with another cooking video. This is Vanessa, and today I'm I will be showing out. you how to cook smothered chicken in detail. And I'm making smothered chicken in its own natural broth, brothy, um, making it everywhere. different than you normally would with Aww. a smothered gravy. So uh, what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to prep <laughs> go all of my food. Balls. I'm going to take my chicken leg quarters <laughs> you and season them to my personal nice. liking. And you can use whatever that seasoning that you like. Let's Let's go, Today, <laughs> I will be using some salt, some pepper, I, some um, Cajun seasoning salt, and some parsley. And these are all uh, seasonings, like the Kroger brand seasonings that are a dollar a piece. And after that, I'm she going to prepare <laughs> all everything that I'm going to be needing for this smothered chicken, which let me let you know you're going to be needing some olive oil or whatever kind of cooking oil that you would like to use. Like fire, you're going to be needing a big fire. spoon of flour, and you're going to be needing one onion and okay. whatever chicken, parts of the oil, chicken that right? you would like to cook. Today, I'm using leg quarters. So, what you want to do is Solid chop up your onion oil, first, oil. and as I said, you're going to season your chicken, and you can season your chicken the night before and put it in a Ziploc bag and let it like marinate in those seasonings, that'll be even better. Uh, so what you want to do is chop up your onions, season your chicken, and then go to your stove and on a medium fire Good, put the stuff. olive oil no, into no, the no. pan that you're going to be but cooking the chicken in today and you want to make sure you're going to have enough room in the chicken so once you make your gravy that chicken it won't chicken run chicken. over or overflow or anything like that yeah. so you're going to put your onions into the pot or saucepan and uh you're going to let them like start glazing okay. a little bit you don't want them to get like brown or anything like that That's just kind of clear no. and see-through and once you do that then you're going it's, to add in your chicken parts From the pot. and so you're just going to add those so in pot. and start letting those cook and Already. you want what to about, about stir <laughs> them frequently so they won't burn but you do want to allow everything to cook and marinate together and to get brown because the browner that fork. you let your chicken and your onions get that's going to determine that the color of balls. your gravy fork, so uh, oh, wait just minute, continue to stir that not letting same, anything burn same. because you don't want to have no. a burnt gravy you but you're going same, to just dog. make sure that everything is evenly cooked and continuously stir your chicken because you want your chicken to evenly cook as well. It's not and so cook once in that pot, though, you see that everything is cooking well and marinating well, and you see that your onions are starting to get brown, you want to add a little bit more olive oil into the bottom of your pan because you're going to be adding in some flour, and so you want enough olive oil in there in where there. it's going to make you a gravy and everything is going to smother all together so you want to add in some more olive oil and continue to stir like your uh saucepan and mix everything in together 
because you want your olive oil to get hot so when you add your flour in it will start to cook oh, yeah. the flour so the next thing you're going to do is add a large spoon of flour a cooking spoon whatever kind of cooking spoon you have and the baby. thicker you want your gravy the more chicken flour you're going to add in this instance i just want since i just want a nice want a little light chicken. brown gravy and it doesn't have, have to be too thick uh okay. so i am going to just add in one spoon of flour but if i wanted a thicker gravy then i would add in another spoon of flour so, and excuse me, you guys, for my voice. Uh, I am a little sick. I want I you have to have some cooked chicken gravy. That's what I want and you to And so do. you're just going to continue to stir gravy. in that flour. Continue to let that flour brown again. Mm -hmm. Not with that bleeding The browner chicken. that you let the gravy and the flour get, that's, that's going to determine the color of Jeez. your gravy. So if you want a white okay. gravy or a light gravy, then you're not going to let it get too brown. But if you want a darker color brown. gravy, then you're going to let it get a little brown, but keep stirring to make sure it's not burning. And once you get that to a nice consistency, a nice brownness, then you're going to add in some hot water. Whenever you are making a gravy, you want to make sure you add in hot water because the hot water is going to keep your gravy from lumping up. So you never want to add cold water to gravy. gravy. So you want to add hot water because everything gravy. else in your pot is hot. So you want the um, hot water to help the gravy to continue to cook at a good temperature. So you're going to add in hot water. That's how so she That's how once she you do that, that talking, continue to stir and start, What's you know, when you stir, you're stirring everything at the bottom of the pot okay. to make sure you're see. getting like, everything so up and mix she into your water. So I anything that may be playing. sticking to the bottom of, pot, of the pot, you're going to loosen that up by adding the water to it and continuing to stir for a few minutes. Once you see that everything is mixed really well, into your saucepan then you're gonna lower your heat to about if you have an electric stove right there, you're gonna lower your heat to about God, three to four this, if you have a gas stove chicken. you want to lower your heat to low put the lid on and continue to let that cook until you think that it's your gravy has a nice chicken. consistency you and, and you're sure that your living. chicken is it's cooked smothered, all the way through chicken. again depending the on Did see what the parts one of the right chicken you're cooking you may need to cook your chicken a little baby, longer. Baby, so yes, you need to cook it. It's not a longer. A lower, just cook and it. And let your chicken continue to cook over a longer period of time. You need to cook the time. chicken. And so once everything your is chicken cooked still raw. and marinated and your gravy is as thick as you want it to be and everything is looking delicious, what you want to do is take a spoon, a small spoon, what I want you to do. A tablespoon. Okay. And stick it into your gravy and taste Chicken your gravy. gravy. And just gravy. make sure that your gravy has some flavor. Because there's nothing like making a beautiful brown gravy. And that gravy doesn't have skin, any taste. And you can actually taste the like flour on taste. Bands. So you want to make sure <laughs> that you take some of the same seasoning that you Ooh. use. If your gravy still tastes like it needs seasoning. Then you're gonna take now, the some gravy of the same looks pretty. That you I mean, but it's not really chicken. smothered. You're gonna just she didn't add that into your chicken gravy, first. Just and you're gonna stir that in really, the really and well, it in and then taste it again and make sure okay. it tastes now, she pretty just good. Up that parsley, and once you that. have it to where everything oh, is tasting nice, really then you're gonna go ahead and put the lid back on, let it simmer for a little while longer, continue to stir your pot, and then. As long as the rest of the items that you're going to be serving with this smothered chicken are prepared and cooked already, then voila, you're ready to fix your plate. No, so let me know not. if you like this recipe. No, let me know um, what other I recipes appreciate. you'd like for me to make in the mm, future. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Do not I mean, forget to like press the video. subscribe That's button. Not my taste. And do not forget I just want her to, not to have leave all your the comments negative. below and Baby. come back tomorrow for another video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Baby. Bye now.
Goodbye. All right, my bomb squad. This your girl, Lisa. I, 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 I don't know what to say about the chicken. But uh, like, subscribe, comment down below. Below, not below. Below, share this video. Like it. I already said that. This your girl, Lisa. I love y'all, my bomb squad. And I'm out. Peace. What's up, my bomb squad? This your girl, Lisa. I just did a reaction video. Um, it's not how I would cook. Chicken was bleeding during most of the video. It was just hurting my spirit that she put that flower in there like that. But hey, everybody ain't me. So, make sure you watch this video. When you watch this video, hit that like button for me. Um, what I do? I don't know if somebody else is saying this. <laughs> y'all hit that like button for me. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell so y'all can come back and see me when I act silly on the computer. I mean, on the on videos and share this video because maybe somebody else don't want to eat the bloody chicken all right this your girl lisa and dc kool-aid and we out yeah 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 dc kool-aid and lisa doing challenge on your head top yeah you know what's happening when you tune in story times pranks and vlogging man we a great big family we the bomb squad we on that grind to a number with a k best believe you'll stay you can chill with the fam like most of y'all do. DC Kool Aid, Lisa, and Nick too. With Charles and Barbie living that YouTube life, we love our fans and supporters. We a family do. So come on down to Bomb Squad Town. Have a seat watching videos. And nobody likes to hate. Keep it positive and have a nice day. Oh, I forgot. Smash that like button. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. Hey.